Welcome to the Pop Off Podcast. I'm Derek. And I'm Matt. And we're here with... Don't Don't pet the the dinosaur. Don't (laughs) pet the dinosaur. (laughs) All right. Go go ahead and uh, introduce yourselves. I'll go ahead and start. I go by Tim. Jay. I'm Sam. I'm the drummer. I'm the bass player. All right. When people say, like, don't pet the dinosaur in Florida, I'm assuming you're talking about an alligator or what ex- what exactly dinosaur? I mean, I see those all the time. Well, it's kind of just a general, if you do happen to be walking down the street and see a T-Rex, maybe don't, don't, don't just, just, just keep your distance safe. What about one of the smaller, more friendly, like, herbivore dinosaurs? Could, could we get down on that? If you see like a bronchosaurus or something, man, climb that shit. Yeah, like a baby bronchosaurus, yeah, yeah, yeah. like a fresh one. If I feel, you can manage to get like on top of right, it, yeah, yeah. I can pet that. Yeah, yeah. Right, like, solid like what, what, what about like a pink too. fuzzy one? Wouldn't recommend. Might be poisonous. <laughs> What's yeah, your favorite dinosaur? You guys have a favorite dinosaur? Ooh, I do. It's a stegosaurus. It's not a. It's not a. It's not a stegosaurus. Stegosaurus tight with the plates. That's the one. That's unique. That's pretty cool. I freaking love them. I feel like it could like roll up and take off. Don't they got like those spiky tails or is that something else? Well, they got spikes all across their whole body, man. Just going straight down with the plates and everything. It's like an armor defense. They just look cool, but they really have nothing going for them. That's a fact. <laughs> that's that's pretty fact. Yeah. That's sad. I, I like the pterodactyl. There we go. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Thank Valid. you. Just so that's you can go to your, yo, dog, it's T like pterodactyl. Put nah, dog, it's P like pterodactyl. Big my valid. bad. I had that backwards. So what are, we, what were your, what are your guys uh, put to influences? Like, what do you, um, how'd you, how'd you get into making music like this? You want to take that to No. <laughs> <laughs> it all started back in 1874. Well, we were definitely born, yeah. yeah. Okay, so. <laughs> all right, well, so, all right, I get that because y'all two look alike, right? So y'all are brothers, I'm assuming? Yeah. We, I, mean, we I was going to deny that. But we, uh, since you just, you know, went ahead. No, nah, me and Matt love that, though, because we also are a brother duo. And then also really holding down the sound. I already know where the groove is. It's in the rhythm section. Hey, it's yeah, with the drum you. and the bass. What? I mean, yeah. you can't yes, deny sir. that. Yes, sir. We take the cake, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. We, uh, we're, we, our brothers and back to that previous question we joined off this guy's uh dudes here invitation here um Yo. personally i joined a year i want to say after you guys started i don't remember like a year and a half probably a little bit would, longer. Let, let's say a solid year after they started i, I joined them as a drummer because um, it was just the two of them and another bassist um but yeah this is this guy's dream he wants to do this. He loves Yo. doing it. So I said, hell yeah, let me join in and help you with that. Yeah. No, I know you guys are like pretty, pretty newer. We had the chance to play together. And, you know, like I said, being in the rhythm section, I saw you guys play and are super happy that you were able to come and, and play some music for us. But I also yeah. like how you had the two vocal things going on. Like, obviously, like the lead there, it, it, it kind of like told the story. But then, um, you know, you're kind of like lurking there in the shadows. <laughs> He tends screaming, to the, you know, in my brain. The he tends to do, yeah, he's very good at that. The pain. He's very good at that. Yeah, it's, it's quite a fun thing to do. Everyone asks me, like, how can you, like, sustain it? It's like, there's classes online to do it, really. And it's like, it, does, it hurts a bit, but it's still pretty fun just getting that emotion out. And really, it's just, you screaming out like, ah! You know? <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> Specifically, <laughs> Velociraptor style. And it's his idea to really like, sort of like combine his pretty highs with like screams that kind of do. Um, I believe that's inspired from like um, Dance Gavin Dance or something like that. 100%, yeah. Like the old 2000s, like what, like Dance Gavin Dance, you got Alessana, just bands that had mainly a screamer, but then also. Uh, like a singing on the chorus in the background only kind of reversed that idea just bands that did that back in the day yeah and i like too like those bands too would have like a false ending or false beginning you know and and you'd have like one song and then it comes in with the jam or the groove is that how do you plan that out is that all just your thing or in terms of songwriting it's just kind of every it's kind of like a whatever fits the bill kind of thing he'll bring a, a song and we'll just 
mess around with it for a good 30, 45 minutes, maybe an hour. And we'll take, I want to say, I think there was one song we did, I want to say three different types of drums, guitars, everything. We did a whole different type for it, but stuck to one. We still have those recordings. It's just whatever fits yeah. best. You know, whatever sounds good to all of us, whatever jams out, you know, we have fun with it. That's what we keep. Yeah, and I super respect you guys as musicians. You came in all like super easy to work with, didn't mind playing on with some of our equipment and stuff like that. Um, and most of the time, y'all just jumped right in and started grooving. And then even in between, there's some shots that are like, oh, you know, how long are we going to hold this song out for? <laughs> you know, as you can tell, it wasn't totally scripted, you know, before you came nah, here. Not at all. But I love that. <laughs> not at all. This is kind of a free flow thing. Just kind of go with you it. You should see our practices. It's it's way worse yeah <laughs> hey man we're just having fun i would call it worse live just, performance wise yeah. i would say there's not one song that is played the same not a single time every performance is probably going to be a little bit different it's never one set in stone except the actual recording for it of course especially yeah. for you yeah you don't write shit i don't it's just i, I don't it's just <laughs> it's <different stuff. laughs> how it's, i feel at the time mm-hmm. you know? it's interesting when they ask us like what do you what do y'all sound like what's y'all sound and we kind of like have this like little circle just doing in our head sort of thing where it's like we don't know man who fucking just, knows dude who fucking knows give us give us like two three minutes just let's go ahead and play for you and you figure it out we'll, from there we'll figure it out eventually <laughs> i never know how to answer that question hey guys what genre are you like i, I don't fucking know i think you said dino core once i don't, I don't know who fucking knows <laughs> I like that. It's Dino Core is a good one. Derek and I can definitely relate to that. Where it's like, well, explain what you and your brother do. It's just like, it's a two-piece drum and bass duo. And like, what do you sound like? I'm like, you gotta come see us live. <laughs> it's all yeah, rock. Exactly. Yeah. It's, it's alternative. It's exactly. the only answer. Yeah. You really need to come out and, uh, and appreciate the visual interpretation that we provide to the show as well. Mm-hmm. So. No, I think some things are pre-planned. So like, I appreciate you showing up. I feel like this here matches. You know, if I can yeah, come yeah. down and like. See what you got on this level here. Um, what's up with the guitar, right? You got the you got the matching with the uh, with the hoodie, and you got the dinosaur. See, I really wish that that was completely intentional. That just so happened. I just so happened to put this on, and it matches. But uh, what about that dinosaur? You got, them, you got the stickers on here. I see Pokemon. How about this? It what seems, is, it seems like you're kind of petting the dinosaur. What's, the, what's y'all's favorite anime? I like Gundam. Naruto. I like the Gundam man. I like the mechanical warfare, but I do Pokemon strong too. Oh. Currently, Chainsaw Man. Stand Gundam, but <laughs> my favorite. But my favorite anime is Broken Blade. Ironically enough, is that a, could you, it's, a, it's an old one. No could you explain? Sense. I'm talking about like Toonami Gundam from you know way back in the day. I can't say I watch new Gundam. Bro- Broken Blade, I think, is like 2000, early 2000s. Yeah. Like, it's, yeah, it's old. It's an old one. I just feel like Dragon Ball Z is too easy. It is. Yeah, no. If, you, <laughs> it's if, if your main though. answer Whoa. is Dragon Ball yeah. Z, you, you don't really watch it. I grew up on Whoa. that, man. That hurt. Right. <laughs> that, like, no, it's awesome. It's everybody's favorite. Right. Freezer Saga, Cell Saga, Boo Saga, bro. Come on. That was like what I looked forward to getting home from school. I get that. Uh, I get that. But, you know, it's it's easy. Like, it's, it's too easy. Uh, it's like Naruto, it? One Piece, Bleach. Shots. But that I'm clearly means it's good. Everyone loves it, man. That just it's means it's I'm gonna go non anime and say Voltron. You know, if he's going Gundam, I'm gonna go American Gundam for Voltron. Voltron. <laughs> Voltron. Well, I've heard that ages, man. I'm gonna go Thundercat. Thundercat. Cool. 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 I do like like the classics. They're so nice. It's t- such a vibe to like watch. I'm gonna go with like a more modern one that's just like sort of released a few months ago. It's it's called Free Run. It's kind of like a like a fantasy. Mm. Uh, one, it's it's nice. It's I don't know. It's super cozy. It's like something you just watch in the fall and just like relax to. And it's just it has a, a little bit of everything, right? It has like emotional little things going on. It has some like action going on a little bit, but it's it's quite it's quite a journey. Yeah, no, really. After like some of the movies that get released now, the anime really has like great storylines and still is so much more you can do there. But, um, all right, so you guys have some music out. I assume you got some shows coming up. We'll, we'll put your social media stuff out there. Please follow these guys. <laughs> uh, yeah, Instagram, Don't Pet the Dinosaur. Twitter, 
Don't Pet the Dinosaur or something like that. Pretty much everywhere, just same shit, Don't Pet the Dinosaur. You got some mm-hmm. show. You just played at that Oscura place. I've seen a lot of bands in the scene have uh, playing down there. How was that? Yeah. Cool? So far. Oh, that was that fun. Was so far, best venue. That, but yeah, that was fun. Put us yeah. in a venue that's like indoors. I'll be fine because I've seen I've been to like outdoor shows. It's like it's fine if you're like elsewhere, but like here in Florida, it's you're sweating, you're trying to move, and you're sweating even more. You know, put your guitars out of tune. Yeah, Florida oh, in the summertime is rough to be gigging outside. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. true. Mm-hmm. What was it? There was like, I think it's Janice live in St. Pete. Like, it was nice, but it's like I think you guys it was Janice. No, no, we no. Oh, I was gonna say, <laughs> man. Holy like, I shit, you, like, that's odd. I can't wait. I'm gonna play Janice soon. Coming up, maybe next yes. weekend. I'm sure. Oh shit! Uh, <laughs> Hell yeah, man! I think it's one time. You I guys land. got some shows coming uh-huh. up, or or you know anything on the uh, schedule? We Just have something on like Halloween, Halloween day. Yeah. 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 yeah, nice. Well, I'm sure we'll see him again. Maybe catch us together playing the brass mug and. Hell yeah! Appreciate it. Yeah. See you, everybody. Hell yeah! Bye bye. Bye.